many mission groups that have came into Kersfield has been huge. Um, especially since FEMA wasn't here for us and the government basically wasn't acting because it was the first huge disaster for our area. They came in to help the um, homeowners get their um, carpets and everything ripped out, get their houses um, in a place where it can dry out so that the mildew and the mold wouldn't grow. And without the mission groups, we would have three months later, today's basically almost going on three months, we would have probably like 500 homes that are still sitting there saturated with water. Underneath of there to tie the plug, when they cut beyond this beam, we lost, we lost any value in the deck. Now we've got to go back to the next point to get the plywood to support something. Yeah. So, ways I don't end up with a sledge in the face. You knock that one down, just knock it out. Yeah. Well, yeah, see this? Now, you've got to be careful. And don't break the sledgehammer. Make sure you hit what you're swinging at. If you hit the handle, you'll eventually. And hide it with the siding. Okay. That's the gist. Get a are you working on that? Uh... This is sitting off the very edge. When I nailed that in, it just did not go into any wood behind it. So I started angling it in back into the wood. Yes, this um, renovation means a lot to me because it's my family heritage. It's been in my generations for four generations now in my family. And uh, I just want to—I want to be able to pass along to my kids and my kids' kids. And it means a lot to me because. Well, because I grew up here. I've been mean, coming down here every weekend with my grandparents when I was four years old, and I've always wanted to stay here. And um, when I always wanted to live here ever since I was little. I told my mom and papa, I want to live here for the rest of my life. And uh, when they passed away, before they passed away, they, they said, the house is yours, you're gonna, you can have it, and you always want to live here, so now here's your chance. As so mayor of the city of Crisfield, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank UMCOR as a lifelong Methodist as to all the things that they have done while they've been here. The groups that have been in, we've probably had about seven or eight groups. Uh, each one of them have had their part in their place and have done great work for us. As we follow on to our recovery effort, once the houses are rebuilt, and, and, and believe me, a good 30% of our housing stock is probably damaged uh, beyond repair other than possibly rebuilding. Um, when I look past that, the, the things that are going to come up are going to be personal items, furniture, appliances, clothing, uh, things to help these folks get back on their feet and to restore their life to some normalcy. And in particular, I'd like to thank the Mount Zion United Methodist Church for all that they and their workers have done here in this community. Thank you, Mount Zion Church. Thanks, Mount Zion Methodist Church.
girlfriend's mother, her son, called the Coast Guard for us, or the National Guard, and they came.